Welcome to the Been There Doing That podcast. I'm Robert Scrivener. And I'm Gayla Scrivener. We left the 9 to 5 grind, downsized, and our goal is to have freedom to live and to work from just about anywhere. Welcome to another exciting episode of The Been There Doing That podcast. Yes. When you last heard us, we were on our way to Overland Expo West. 2019. Yes. We were traveling from where, Robert? Utah, of course. Utah. And we made our way to Flagstaff, Arizona area. Camped at Marshall Lake. Yeah. We've been there before. Liked it. So we went back. We did. We explored around some forest roads that we had not done before because the first year that we were around Marshall Lake, we are in the Subaru, and we got a little scared on some of those because the Subaru sits a little low. Yeah, it had street tires. That's true. And then last year, we were in a rental vehicle. Yeah, we could have done it. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that... It's um, a Volkswagen but we did not. We oh, were we easy on the <laughs> rental vehicle. Yeah. Unlike what most people might be to rental vehicles. We yeah. were easy. <clears throat> we were easy going on it. For the most part. <laughs> I don't all the parts. All the parts. <laughs> yeah. Then we spent the night at Marshall Lake and it was a Tuesday afternoon. That we rolled into Fort Tuttle. Pack it up. Let's go. Exactly. <laughs> went into town, loaded up with some fuel, so we'd be ready when to leave. Mm-hmm. Before we went to Marshall Lake, we grocery shopped. We were fully loaded on food. We were. We had Stocked up. We had a lot of water, too, because I didn't want to have to worry about having to refill anything. Finding when we, potable water. Yeah, I didn't want to have to worry about that. So Oscar did not have a place to sit in the Jeep, except on my lap. Yeah, he's a good sitter. He is. He is. And then we went, we went to check in. Yeah. And we found the correct entrance. We did. We did. We had our instructions. We were coming a couple of days early. Our volunteer duties mm-hmm. were on... Thursday morning, Friday morning, and we were on call on Saturday. So we could check in as early as Tuesday afternoon. Yes. Wednesday, we get the lay of the land. And that's what we did. Yeah. Watch them set up the driving courses and mm-hmm. get the lay of the land. We got there. They, you know, the there is some really great camping opportunities right there at, uh, is that, uh, it's not a fairgrounds, is it? It's, it's Fort Tuttle. A, yeah. Yeah. Fort Tuttle camping ground fair ground <laughs> it's an event yeah <laughs> it's an event center that for sure and i like that we have trees in our area it's not yeah. just a big field with n- no protection from the elements i think it's county county fairground county fairgrounds i think so too well good let's go with that well we'll just title it that and <laughs> go with it and then i'll link to well, the right place i'll link to the correct place mm-hmm. in the show notes. How about that? There you go. And so what did we do? We arrived there, and who's the first person that you saw when we got out of the Jeep? Um, I remember. Oh, I know. Mr. Dean Shirley. Yes. East Coast Overland Adventures. Yes. And he had said that he found a, a good spot with good solar. I said, I like solar. So. i to keep them computers charged so we can work, 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 work. Well, we didn't work much through <laughs> Overland Expo no. except for Overland Expo. Yeah, but we did charge lot. computers. We did. And we checked in. They pointed us in the right direction. They weren't ready to officially check in volunteers yet to get name badges and stuff, but they pointed us to the campground. Yeah. And we ended up parking next to Mr. Dean Shirley. Yeah, wonderful spot there. Morning sunshine. Mm -hmm. That was beautiful. We set up the tent and the annex room. Because? We're staying there for like five or six days. Well, let's see. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And we left out on Monday. So six nights. 
six nights, seven days. It's like a cruise. <laughs> it is. <laughs> but not as much <laughs> but no not as much water. <laughs> yeah, same amount of people, just less water. Yeah. The annex room we don't pull out very often. I think the only times we've pulled it out is at Overland Expo. Yeah. Because we end up staying six days. Now We've threatened if we've stay <laughs> threatened <laughs> if we stay more than uh, it's two be, or three it's days. It's got to be more than two nights. Mm-hmm. I like the annex room. I like it better on the Jeep than when we had it on the Subaru because mm-hmm. the Jeep is taller. Yep. And I couldn't stand under it and not hit my head. That's a positive. Yes. So there's a go. It's a great changing room. It has a floor in it. What does it change into? <laughs> I change into a oh. much fresher person. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there is that. <laughs> and we had o- we have Oscar on this trip. Yeah. So that was a great place to put him in his pop-up kennel in the annex room. And it was a good temperature. Keep him out of the sun. Yeah, keep him out of the elements. Keep him out of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> He's so funny because we he's not bothered by smaller dogs. He could care less about smaller dogs. But bigger dogs. He wants to tear into them. He does. He barks at them. He doesn't sound like okay. that. Okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> you need better uh, sound, effects. sound effects. Well, you get what you pay for on this production. Okay. <laughs> You're paying for it, aren't right? <laughs> you? Our poor listeners. Yeah, uh, all six of them. All six of them. We appreciate you. <laughs> Every six. All six of you. Uh... What our duties for Friday and Saturday were checking in? Nope. I mean, sorry, Thursday and Friday. <laughs> You'll get it right. I will get it right. That's why you got me here. Mm-hmm. Yep, checking in people. That entailed what? Checking in people in a line. <laughs> Step right up here, sir. How are you doing today? There were doing lovely. long, Where'd long you all come lines. from? <laughs> you know? We had a iPad that we needed to check people in. I was the using go-getter. In Eventbrite, Mm -hmm. checking them in, making sure they had their name badges, their swag bag, their... This was only for certain people, though. I know. We did Overland Experience. Mm -hmm. Checking them in. And then, despite all the signs around, there were still people not knowing where to go. Mm -hmm. But it's such a big event. It's huge. And there are a ton of volunteers, and they only know their little spot. Mm-hmm. We only knew our little spot. That's true. And but we've done that spot before, but not there. Right. I found that... I found that this time was smoother. Than it I seemed thought. like it. Yeah. It seemed like it was pretty smooth, and and it was cold in that well, it grandstand. Was brisk. It was brisk. It opened up the doors. It's like a grandstand's. You open up the doors to It was exactly in. like a grandstand, That's because what that I'm was saying. what's called a grandstand. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's like in the middle where the rodeo would have been mm, at that. Yeah. But it's this big building. You open up the windows, but there's no back windows. And so stop the breeze, and it just sucked it right through. It was cold. It was brisk. Yeah. But we made sure that, well, we hope we gave everything out correctly. But that well, first day. First day. Um, that Thursday, we worked from 7.30 to like. 11.30. Something I don't remember. Yeah. Wasn't that the day that we were called to go check in the weekend passers? Yes. And what that entailed was we, oh my gosh, I did not realize because we were in the grandstand, mm-hmm. but they were routing a whole slew of vehicles that had the weekend pass camping, and they were in the middle of this arena. Yeah. Like the grandstands behind there. Yes. And they were not allowed to check in until 11. So we were pulled away from our station at the grandstand to go help them check in. Mm-hmm. And I didn't we were part of the select few. Yeah, I liked that, actually. That, that was all right. That was fast, high-paced, you know octane why I like moving. That? Fast <laughs> octane. <laughs> could smell the octane. It was so fast. <laughs> But what they did was they had three stations Mm -hmm. and then two people at each station. Like you and I were partnered up. You were before me and then... Mm. um, I was after you. You were getting them before I was. 
directing them to me. That's true. See? Okay, I was thinking the opposite way. Well. Like I normally do. <laughs> 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 it's where you, it's where get you where you are is, is today. So then the the parking attendant would start routing people to the three uh, slots, mm-hmm. and then if they came to me first and you were not occupied, I would route them to you, mm-hmm. and same down the line, and then they would be routed back to a one lane road, then go to camping. But they gave us a satchel with what do you like that word? A satchel? A satchel. Yeah. I like bags. <laughs> I do too. I cannot lie. <laughs> but they gave us a satchel and um, that had the paperwork, the parking stickers, everything like that. Whoa. Hold on just a second. You can get to that part in a minute. But they had everything we needed plus the check-in for our, um, what is that, the iPad. Yeah. And they had an extra battery in the satchel. Uh-huh. Everything like that. And we just checked them in like we did up at the grandstand and then gave them their their source book, their newspaper, and a camping sticker. You got camping stickers? Yes. Didn't you? After you showed me where they were. <laughs> <laughs> they were in the satchel. Probably 30 of them didn't get camping stickers. Mm-hmm. I didn't know they were in there. Well. I didn't have proper training. I hope they didn't get kicked out. I doubt they did. We did fess up later, <laughs> or you did yeah. anyway, to the volunteer coordinator. It's like, what? I know. Well, with this, an, an event that big, it's hard to keep everything straight, and you're trying to get people through. and On the job training. Oh, on the job training. We've never done that before, but it was I liked fun. It. You know why I liked it? Why? Right. Hey, <laughs> you're trying to drink and talk uh, at the same it's time. thirsty. Why? Why, why? why? Why did you like it? Because we saw the vehicles. Oh, up close in person, right yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. I liked that part. Everybody is different. Mm-hmm. I don't think there was two exactly the same. Nope. Not at all. So we had fun with that, and I think we got our end time confused. Yeah. But there were people that came that relieved us, so there we was. left. <laughs> so we left. <laughs> okay. So I hope that didn't put a cramp into a crimp into anything. Nah, but slowing the roll. It seemed to have worked. And then Friday we were back at the grandstand. Doing the same thing. Checking people in. People were waiting in line. That was busy. That was uh, opening day. It was. And we were not supposed anyway. to get walk ups or because everybody last year they had a parking issue. And this year they had already secured um off site parking. Off site parking at um, Northern Arizona University, NAU. Yeah, that's it. And we have no idea where that's at. No. That we understand that there were shuttles and that people would be checked in when they get in the shuttles, all of that stuff. Mm-hmm. But how people came when there was no parking on site, I don't know. How they got in there. There were some that biked in. Which is only five miles, I heard. Yeah. And I don't know. I don't know. But we improvised and we may do and hopefully, you know, yeah. everybody had a good time that we checked in. Yeah. It, w- it was, I, I'm amazed of how big of an event it is and how it can be. I heard it was through. bigger than last year. It seemed but like it. I could see that now that we walked all the, the, the grounds mm-hmm. and got a golf cart ride because I wouldn't want to walk it again. Oh, I know. Now, Saturday, our responsibilities was basically be on call. And we got called. Yep. Actually, about 10, we slept seven, in. About 1017, we got called. <laughs> we slept in and then moseyed on over to the grandstand area just to say, hey. And pick up a paper. Yes. For the classes, because we might want to attend a class later. Yeah. And so we And that's when we got called. Apparently, about five minutes before we arrived, I supposedly had received a text, and I didn't feel it in my... Uh, it's because you got to turn on your notifications. I did, oh. but it was in my purse and not my pocket. Well, that's probably why you didn't feel it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Excuses. Excuses, but we weren't that late. And he had jobs for us in the afternoon. Yeah. yeah. So, so we had a, and well, we had a couple minutes. 
This we, we waited there. No, we didn't. We no, walked back. we walked around. Yeah. You're right. Thank you. That's the third time I've said that. <laughs> Thank you. I. You've been right most of this trip. You know what except I Except for those times. <laughs> except for those times. That's in a different episode. Mm-hmm. We should title that one when Gala wasn't right. That may be an empty episode. That may be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can fill it up. <laughs> what? I can fill it up. Okay. There's more than once. Uh, more than twice. <laughs> but we'll we'll figure that episode out. All right, so we walked around and then reported for duty. Where'd you go? This was the first time we were separated for duty. Oh. Wasn't it? Probably because we don't work well together. Uh, we they did thought too. we didn't work well together. No, they don't think that at all. They no. just needed us They needed separate separated place. duties. Yes. He, I went to the one and only shower tent. Which was 1.37 miles away from the volunteer <laughs> campground. I, I needed to report in 30 minutes after you reported to where? Uh, the Camel Trophy uh, area. The concierge tent? Yeah, the concierge tent. I was checking people in for their classroom slash driving static stuff. skills slash driving course, whatever. Tessa, people would say. Tessa. I said, you mean the Camel Trophy uh, Expedition Skills Area? <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you, what did you do there? I pointed them in the right direction because they were lost. You, is this where it's at? Yes, it is. You also, What time is my class? I don't know. What time did you sign up for? <laughs> <laughs> you also mm-hmm. had answers to questions whether they were right <laughs> or wrong. <laughs> they were right or wrong. Can we come in and look at these uh, the Campbell Trophy trucks and take some pictures? Yeah, let me be your tour guide. So I had another guy there to watch people come in. So I followed them on around, make sure they didn't end up in a class. Well, there you go. You were their chef. What size are those tires? Yeah, they're seven and a half inches wide. <laughs> are they really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. Well, you made their experience <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> they but didn't you pay surely... for the overland experience, but they got it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, you know enough about it to know a little <laughs> bit to be dangerous. Yeah. I was it's not like or... me talking about it. Well, the tires are black. Yeah, and round. <laughs> and round. They're not there, flat on the only the bottom. There's <laughs> some tread on it, and yeah, that Jeep is uh, yeah. is is not a Jeep at all. It's a Land Rover, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So you could talk somewhat intelligently about yeah. it. Yeah, I did. You were their chaperone. That was, <laughs> that's what I said too. I'll <laughs> chaperone you over there. Well, that's fun. Yeah, it was. I went way over to the campsite, not the volunteer campsite, but the other campsite. I think it was called the Purple Sage or something yep, like that. Yeah, that was it. And our volunteer coordinator, fearless leader, oh, he's Mr. Fearless. Zach, he gave me a ride over there because it was a long 1. way. 1.375 miles. And there was supposed to be a lady and a man volunteer. Because you had women's and men's. Mm-hmm. And what that consisted of is two really big like circus tents, with three little tents inside. Hmm. Yeah. I didn't go in. I did. I know. And then Helio by Nemo, or Nemo, uh, provided the uh, Helios. We had eight of them. Foot pressurized water. Yes. And then I just needed to fill up the Helio with a few gallons of water. And we had instant water. Hot water. On demand. On demand hot water. That was pretty cool. So I filled that up, and then, you know, the guys, there was a lot longer line for the guys than the girls, but I think it's because the population of the event is more guys than girls. Yeah, I think you're right. And uh, I'm surprised how long guys take to take a shower. Yeah. I mean, goodness. Some people's children, I tell you. (laughs) And I only had one inappropriate kind of comment. From some dude. <laughs> What'd they say? Something's like, will you come in and scrub my back? And I'm like, oh, that's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> I can reach all of my back. <laughs> but that's, you know, mm-hmm. par for the course. So well. There's got to be somebody. I'm not there. offended. I was just kind of <laughs> amused. So you're a funny man, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> But what happened was the guy that was supposed to sh- come... Uh-huh. 
What are you doing getting a snack during a podcast? Well, let's just turn it into a long one. <laughs> I was thinking I might need some nourishment to get through. Uh-oh, oh, dropped one on the ground. I got it. I got it. Well, anyway, as Robert eats M&Ms, as we're podcasting. Or WWs. Or WWs. Mm. There was supposed to be a guy at the shower. Uh-huh. But guy volunteer. He never showed up. Uh-oh. But the guy, the volunteer that was in charge of the showers for the whole weekend, mm-hmm. he lives in Flagstaff. So he knows what's going on. But during the time, part of the time that I was um, at my station, he was not there. He needed to be with his family and stuff. Mm-hmm. But so I took care of it. You got accomplished. I did. Because you accomplished more. <laughs> That's a different show. Oh, a different show. <laughs> <laughs> well. But I, I think I, I did just fine. You managed I enjoyed it. Talked with people. People were happy. They were probably clean. happy that they were happy their shower. This is the best shower ever. And I bet you he uh, Nemo had sold some some what of those. I heard. I think I talked to the guy that bought the last one. Oh. Kind of like us the year before. Yeah. We bought the last one, but this time uh, I said, what'd you, what'd you get for that? Yeah. Oh, they're running a special on them. I said, well, what's what, what's special? $75. They're normally 100 Yeah, or more. Mm-hmm. Depends on the I size. Said, well, I should have sold mine and bought one of those. <laughs> oh, well. I like our Helio, though. I do. We've used it. Yeah, we Not bought it. Not just for shower. We washed the Jeep with it. We do dishes with it. What? We bought it this time last year. Yep, a year ago. So, overall, I really liked our, I mean, Sunday we were totally off. Yeah, that was our chance to walk around and weather turned. Yeah, the weather. Nasty. Let's talk about the weather. For We got there. The weather was nice, wasn't it? It was kind of chilly. Whether we got there or not. Whether we <laughs> we, we made it. We made it, but. The weather was all right. It was all right. It was uh, not like last year and perfect, but it, it was good. We had some wind. We had some rain. Oh. But it wasn't. Well, yeah, I wasn't going to say it wasn't too windy, but it was. It, At times. It collapsed at uh, three, four, ten by ten tents that I know of. Oh, yeah was mainly on Thursday. Yeah. That was the windy, windy one. Yeah. And then um, we had, uh, when we left. Aha. Uh-huh. That's on when. On Monday. On Monday. That's when the weather Come really. Monday. That's when the weather really turned. It'll be all right. Oh, that's a different song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, um, it started to like. It kind of rained Sunday night into Monday. Mm-hmm. We uh, seen the weather forecast. Mm, snow showers, possibly. And there it was. And poof, all of a sudden, there it was. <laughs> so we loaded up. And it was kind of uh, sleeting a little bit. Yeah. Not, not too bad. So we made it on the road. I don't know what time, but yeah, uh, it was early. And, oh, we forgot to mention Sunday night, the reason why we come. Oh, the Ogar. whole reason why we come <laughs> out here. The whole single reason is the banquet barbecue-ish. It was in the theater this year. Because it was It was raining. pretty cold. It was good barbecue. Yeah, and as always. It, it was very good. So, what did you think about this year's, this would be, how many times have we volunteered? I think four volunteers, fifth expo. And... As you're rating our experience, what, what would you rate? Of the rate? volunteer or the expo overall? Uh, how about volunteer first? Volunteers, I think this was the, the my favorite. Okay. How about, how come? Well, because uh, we kind of knew what we were doing more. That's true. And we knew more people and it just seemed yeah. more comfortable. How about of all the expos, would, uh, um, which one has been your favorite so far? Well, I guess it'd be um, it'd be up there. I don't know how, how high out of one to five. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it a two. About two? Yeah. I, I think out east at the Biltmore was one of my favorite ones. Yeah. I think that was my favorite just because of the location. The location, we had a, a good time, and then we experienced the Biltmore Mansion. Yeah, I think that's uh, the first one. And that, and we, we made sure to experience as much as we could, so that was great. Yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed this year. Yeah. And seeing all the people and, and all of that. So, well, I think that that's probably... Rambled you know, on long enough. Wrap it up, Galen. <laughs> you rambled on long enough. No, but I think that anybody that is willing to work 
you know, they have, I don't know how many volunteers, but it's worth throwing in your application and experience yeah. over Be behind the scenes kind of thing. Be behind the scenes and just helping out and just having a smiling face. It's, and It's what, 10 to 16 hours over the course of four days of volunteer work. Yeah. And you still get to experience the vendors, some oh, of yeah. the classes if you can. Um, but you just you just experience it and meet so many great people. Yeah. And if you don't want to volunteer, don't I have to. Think you should come out and and see the event. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. And it's at overlandexpo.com dot com to learn. That's all where about you can it. find it. Yeah, east and west. So wrap it up, Robert. Where, where can, can they, they find, find us? <laughs> They can find us at BeenThereDoingThat.com, Instagram, Facebook, and a website. And YouTube. Oh, and YouTube. Yep. Dang YouTubers. Dang YouTubers. All right, until next time. It's a pleasant day out.